What's up guys? I just wanted to talk about the pros and cons of keeping African cichlids. So let's jump right in. So a pro to keeping African cichlids is that you just get a bunch of color in your tank. For I mean like these fish look super good and they like they have saltwater fish coloration as you know most people say. And they also come for like a fraction of the price for saltwater fish. Now, a con for these fish, um, I might, it might seem like I'm being hypocritical, but they are, they are pretty expensive for a freshwater fish. So if you're not that dedicated in the hobby, um, then I don't think you should spend that this much money on African cichlids. If you're gonna buy Mbuna, that's fine, but peacocks and haps are usually more expensive. Um, moving on. Um, a con for African cichlids is that they take a while to grow and with that they also take a while to get to that color so most African cichlids start out like super gray and stuff and they don't really look too good but once you wait one or two years then they'll start looking like really nice so that I, I count that as a con because you know it's just like you have to wait so long in order to get their color and you just want it like right now. I mean like you can buy them really big like extra large but they cost they're like expensive. They're like 50, 60 bucks for haps and like 30, 40 dollars for peacocks. But you know if that's what you want to do then you can do that. Um, a pro for African cichlids is that they are like voracious feeders and they have a bunch of personalities so basically like whenever you feed them it's a blast to feed them because you know they just start like eating it so quickly like once you drop the food it's gone before you know it so that's a pro and they all have different personalities so that's another thing I like but with the personality they most of them most of African cichlids as a con um, they are all aggressive so you can't really keep them well le let's just say lake malawi you can't really keep them with any other fish other than other cichlids like you can't keep them with their tetras mollies so they're super aggressive and you can only keep them you know with their own tank mates so um you can keep south american cichlids as long as um both of them are tank raised they can live in the same water because tank raised fish come from like the same pH because you know they all come from the farms so um, yeah um, another a con for keeping African cichlids is that um, they all have like the same shape and since like I'm just going on from the other con but since you can't keep any other fish with them you pretty much have the same shape. Now, predator haps especially have like a bunch of different types of shapes and that's why they're pretty cool. Um, but you really need a big tank for them. So maybe like 180 or 220 gallons. But um, yeah, um, a pro for African cichlids is that, you know, they are mouth brooding. And I think, I think if it has a pro because they're super easy to breed because you know they don't lay eggs or anything so all you got to do is just strip the female and then you're good so i think that's pretty much it for this video um thanks for watching i've also created an instagram account so please follow that um you might get some you know uh some sneak peeks and teasers of stuff so yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching